I haven't been this excited since I got my results on A-Level Results Day. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be recreating my Weatherspoons order. The first meal I ever got and the one I do typically go for is just a normal buttermilk chicken burger. So I toddled off and went on a little shopping trip to Aldi and here is what I found. Let's go get it out of the freezer. I'm back. I am also cooking this meal as a surprise for my parents tonight, so that's why I've just brought the whole tray from the outside freezer because they're currently sat outside right by the door and I didn't want them to see what it is. Shh. First of all, I got these battered onion rings. I believe these were 95 pence. So good. The SS Chunky Oven Chips, as I actually asked, and they said that these ones were most similar to Weatherspoons, and they were 1.99. Two buttermilk chicken thigh burgers. I've actually never tried this before, so I'm so excited. And this was 2.99, I believe, so this was the most expensive item. But Obviously because there's three of us and there's only two chicken burgers, I'm also just going to use one of these Tesco beef burgers. To feed my dad, he prefers beef, I prefer chicken. Also picked up these SS Brioche buns and these were 79 pence I think. I will add it up at some point. 0.95 plus. It's £6.72. I do know that Weatherspoon prices vary all around the country depending on the location of the restaurant. The one I typically go to is about £5.10 pence for my meal plus a drink which is obviously so reasonable but at the same time it is still cheaper to do it at home. Oh, I've got a lettuce on top of that as well how much was the lettuce 69 pence or something like that it was so it's under eight pounds for all of that i did also have to queue up for 40 minutes to get in there to get those but safety first i do need to read the instructions though because i don't know how long this is all going to take so the chips should take half an hour in the oven. They're half an hour as well. These are 25 minutes and these are only 10 minutes. I don't know what baking trays to use. Okay. Remove all packaging, place on a baking tray on the middle of a shelf of a preheated oven for the time specified. Turn halfway through cooking. Right. This one? Oh, they're quite big. I'm not entirely sure if this is big enough for actually putting all of my chips on. It'd be so much easier to just use the active fry, but it doesn't say instructions for the active fry and I don't want it all to come out at different times, so I'm just gonna put them in the oven. How many is enough for three people? You have to be very careful when trying to place that in the oven. So it is currently 20 to 5. I need to chuck the beef burger in in five minutes exactly. And I also need to remember to turn everything over at about five to five. Probably gonna forget that. Don't let me forget, even though you can't really tell me because this is over now. <laughs> well, that was not satisfying at all. Might as well get the onion rings ready as well whilst we're waiting. I think normally you get about five, don't you? It's probably about four onion rings that is recommended. So five, not too bad. The only issue is I'm not entirely sure we've got proper space for this in the oven. It's five minutes later, time to put the beef burger in. Now, I know it's probably not the most hygienic to have two different types of meats on the same baking tray, but at the end of the day, it's my own risk and I just haven't got space for it anywhere else. Hopefully it'll be okay. So about 10 minutes and then I need to turn it all over and also put the onion rings in at the same time. I think I'm gonna do that. I also need to remember to turn the onion rings over eventually. So a little bit complicated for me. I am not a pro chef. I very rarely cook, even if it is only cooking from frozen. This is quite advanced for me. Might as well set the table and also set up my plate. <coughs> So I've got ketchup, mayo, salt and vinegar. You definitely do get those at Weatherspoon. The only thing is that you don't get saucy sauce. I do really love saucy sauce, although I could live without it. Fun fact about me, I eat like a left-handed person, even though I'm right-handed. At Spoons, Weathers, whatever you call it, I prefer Spoons, but some people call it Weathers. They literally just put like a leaf in the bun. So normally I'd shred this, but to be true to it, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I've literally got three hooks of lettuce there, like three, just three random leaves. I'm gonna wash it and then prepare it. It's time to turn it all over. It smells nice already. So this is the situation. The burger looks absolutely nowhere near done. I've tried to sort of squeeze my onion rings in there. They're still looking very pale and I've got one random onion ring down there because it literally just wouldn't fit. I am a bit concerned that like that line of onion rings is only gonna get half done. 10 minutes and I'll check it again. Time to prepare the buns. So, I have a question for you. Do you toast your burger buns? Ever since we started toasting burger buns rather than just having them normal, it goes from like there to there, like elite. So I would do this even if it wasn't, you know, spoons related. But I do believe spoons toast their bun as well. It's not just a plain bun anyway. Getting the toaster out. I actually do have some friends that work at Weatherspoons, so why haven't I just asked them these inside secrets so then I'd know what to do? We're here now. I did plan this video for a month and I'm obviously still unprepared. Also, if you haven't tried the brioche buns from Aldi before, the best buns. I normally get the ones with sesame seeds on, but Weatherspoons burger buns do not have sesame seeds on, so I got these ones instead. That is the dedication. 
perfume just smells so good like i normally just don't like croissants and things like that i just i, I just don't like brioche generally but these buns are insane you take about 60 seconds of worked out as well to toast to like the perfect toastiness. Is that word toastiness? It is now. I think I just need to swap the top and bottom shelf of this oven because the chips are still looking very pale. However, I've got absolutely no idea how I'm going to be able to get them out because it just, when I lift it, it collapses. Another 10 minutes, maybe. Should have done it in the active fry. Lesson learned. That's the most similar class I think I have to word spoons. Looking for lemonade. Found some. I'm feeling iced today. I have finally got one more little surprise. So, when you hear the name Weatherspoons, what do you think of? Have we all got the same answer? The Weatherspoons plates. So yes, I literally went to the lengths of printing these out and cutting them up just for the sake of this video. I did only do two though, as I felt bad for using the ink. However, this is literally the biggest I could get it and this is not big enough for a big plate, which is why I got the little plates out just for the presentation and then we'll probably actually eat off the big plates. I can't wait to show my grandma this, she's gonna love it. Just waiting for it to be ready. It has been another 10 minutes, but it's still looking very pale, so I don't know what's going on to be honest maybe i should turn the oven up but you see i'm not an expert on these things i am learning though experience helps <laughs> absolutely no idea what's happened to these two that is so random yeah these definitely need to go in for a bit longer i'm just trying to turn them over properly weather spoons chips are like absolutely the best aren't they they're just so crispy the rest of these onions look pretty much all right they look only a tiny bit soggy can you guess what I'm going to say? Another 10 minutes. I think by that point though, they'll have literally been in almost an hour. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Guess what? Nothing ever goes well when I film these, so I'm giving up basically. Everything has been in for over an hour and the chips are still white. So I'm just going to take everything else out, dish it up, leave the chips in, and then after I finish dishing up, I'll just have to take the chips out. And if they're soggy and cold, they're soggy and cold. At the end of the day, I've done the best I can, so I'd rather sacrifice the chips than sacrifice everything else. They always put the lettuce at the bottom of the burger as well for some reason. I never really understood that. I also haven't got onion and tomato in it because I don't like it. I pick them out anyway, so there's no point in buying them. Look at that. So here we have one Weatherspoons cheeseburger, onion rings and chips, and two chicken burgers. Honestly, I'm so impressed with this, so happy. I just really hope it tastes as good. It looks and smells so good, so I'm very excited to eat this now. Not gonna lie, it went down tree. Very much enjoy it. The chicken was extremely moist. The chips weren't even too bad in the end. Thumbs up, especially for the price. So there you go, guys. That is the end of the video. How do you think I did? Could you do any better? Where else should I shop? What other orders should I make? If you've got any suggestions, then comment down below. I, however, think it went pretty well, other than the whole not being able to cook properly thing because I'm an idiot, basically. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.